far in our tutorials, we've been learning to draw in Wick Editor by using the drawing tools. But what if I want an image from the internet? So I went to the internet and I want to look for a cartoon train. I'm going to use this one, but it has a green background on it. So not only do I want to use this image, but I need to be able to remove that background. So I'm going to save this image and I'm just going to save it to my downloads, give it a better name. So I have that train image saved. But I'm also want to use an outside tool, remove.bg, and I'll put the web address in the description notes. But I'm going to take this train and drag it. So it takes its best guess at removing what it thinks you want it to remove, and it removed pretty, pretty ding dong good for me. But um, you might need to use an edit tool from time to time. For instance, if I want to remove these windows, I'm going to use an edit tool and flip to erase or restore. So I want to erase and maybe I'm going to take the brush size down. I want to get rid of this window so I can start removing the window if I want to. And then there's a restore where I can bring it back. And so you can erase or restore anything. Um, and change the brush size. You can zoom in if you need to really see the detail. See, I missed a little spot there in the window, so I'm going to restore that as well. Um, but it did a pretty good job. So now to use it in my Wic editor, I'm going to hit this download. And it now is a new file. My old file was train.jpg. This one's train remove background.png. Um, so I'm going to go back to my Wic editor. So to use any kind of image in Wic Editor, I need to add it to my assets. Anything that you bring in from the outside needs to be added in here. So I want to add something to my assets. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to upload something to my assets and look for that train. But it's the train.removebg. And all it did was put my picture in here, but it doesn't show it on the screen. So I have to click on the frame where I want to use it. I can drag it onto the screen. And from here, I can start animating it so that I have this train moving across the screen. So I'm reviewing some frame by frame animation as well. So I copy out of frame, paste, move it, copy, out of frame, paste. This technique is frame by frame animation. I am animating frame by frame by frame by frame, but I did create an animation here. Just another review just in case you need it. I need to give my project a better name. Otherwise, every single file gets saved as my project. So I'm going to give that a better name. If I want to change my background color, I can use this cog. I'm going to click too fast. Click on this cog, and then change my background color to whatever I need it to be. And now I have that yellow background. So a little bit about putting an image um, onto Wic Editor into my canvas. I can use images from the outside. I can edit them with remove.bg is the website.